Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Amber Milt. Welcome to The Balancing Act. And today we've got a very special morning for you because Amber brought Broadway right here to the show. Oh, yes. We're going to sit down with the talented trickster from The Illusionist. That's that Smash Broadway production. It's about to head out and tour. I love magic. And I'm heading out to learn some easy and affordable ways to upgrade your home. Not a bad idea. It sounds like a great idea. Plus, we've got a faith-based education and a taste of the tropics, courtesy of Chef Ralph Pagano. And considering I am Hispanic, I love the tropics. Oh, and I love to eat. So. <laughs> the balancing act starts right now. There you go. <laughs> Broadway Balances America brought to you by Broadway Across America, bringing the best of Broadway to a city near you. Time now for another installment of Broadway Balances America, our series that takes you behind the scenes of some of the most beloved Broadway musicals as they travel across the country and right into your local theaters. And today we're in the studio here joined by Jeff Hobson. He is the trickster on the Broadway spectacular, The Illusionist. Welcome to The Balancing Act. Thank you. What a treat. Thanks oh, for inviting me. So glad to have you. Now let's talk about the show a little bit. I mean, you guys sure. have wowed people from all over the world with this. We've uh, been very blessed to be one of the, uh, the biggest selling magic show in in, uh, in Broadway history. Fabulous. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Now, I got to see the show on Broadway. It was amazing. Every single minute, just jaw-dropping. Jaw-dropping, unbelievable. It was fantastic. It was a wow factor. It was definitely a wow factor. I would have to say this is one of the best shows that I've ever seen. You think of yourself as a man of science, and they, yeah. they broke the laws of physics. I see Broadway at least a couple of times a year, and this ranks at the top. So tell us a little bit about some of the other acts we're going to see. We, uh, we have a, a variety show of magic. We're known as the Avengers because we all have our different names in the show. We have me, you know, I'm the trickster. We also have the inventor, Kevin James, original magic. We have Andrew Basso, the escapologist, modern day Houdini, the manipulator, Yuho Jin from Korea, probably the best sleight of hand artist in the world. Um, we also have oh, Dan Sperry. He's the anti-conjurer. So, uh, so that's something for the younger set um, and, and very original. So we have a lot of originality in our show and it, and it spans quite a lot of different types of magic. Grand magic, funny magic, mm. which is me, uh, escapology, and everything in between. This is really for everybody. It is. Anyone from 5 to 105 can see this show. It's really a good show for everyone. It really is. And I gotta ask you, you're doing eight shows a week. So how Sometimes do we keep up this... to 12 during Broadway times. Wow. 12 to 13. We've done 13 in one week. That's exhausting. Yes. So how are you keeping it sort of fresh and exciting for you? Every time I walk out and see the audience, mm. different faces in the front, and it's a whole new show for me because I know that their reactions are always going to be, you know, I'm creating magic in their, in their minds for the first time. Jeff, I am obsessed with magic. So, so am I. Yes, yeah, so excited to You're see You're lucky I have a trick for you. <laughs> Come on around right. over here. Do you like card tricks? I love I card tricks. I hate card tricks, but for <laughs> you, I shall show you one. Take a look at this. It's a senior citizen quality pack of playing cards. Look at those suckers. Look at that. Go ahead. Would you please go ahead and just uh, take one out? It doesn't matter which. Go ahead. Go ahead. You take want me one to out. Grab go, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You want to look go at it? Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Go, give, give, give it over here to Amber. Amber, you want you to sign it okay. with this pen, the one they were giving away at my bank. Oh, oh stop. <laughs> yeah. And uh, go ahead and sign your name across that one. Yeah, that'd be great. Wonderful. Vundaba. Great. Thank you so much. We'll keep that over here. Now, take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, thank you, Vanna. I know. I want for to be showing the card. There it is. Your card inside the pack. There it is. Now, some people say if you're really good, why don't you let someone shuffle the pack? I say, mind your own business. <laughs> but you're real good. Go ahead, shuffle the pack of cards quickly. Just give it a little. Let's see what you can do. Okay, let me do my little oh, shuffle. Wait, real quick, real quick. Let me oh, do it my careful. way. careful. Can I do it my way? Uh, Oh, you'd make those dealers in the in the casinos poop their pants. Good what for you. <laughs> Nicely done. Don't ever do that again. I won't. Watch. I will now perform sleight of tongue. I'll take the pack of cards, place it inside my mouth, locate your card with your signature with my tongue inside my mouth, fold it three times. Take a look. Huh? Is this your card? No. No. Okay. No. Is, is this your card? No. no. Is this your card? No. no. Not, not, not if I must be somewhere in the middle. <laughs> oh no! Oh boy! You're kidding. 
Hairball? No, you do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, if you expect me to grab that, you are absolutely insane. I got it. Okay. <gasps> Oh, oh three times. I'm not going to touch it. Could you take it out? Oh, no, that, that is so no, gross. You were about no, to do no. that. Don't ever do that. Look at this. Look, 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 look. I don't believe it myself. Folded once, twice, three oh, times. Oh, that is the signature. Yay. That is the signature. That's amazing. Oh, that was amazing. Now, no, so that was luckily, great. the illusionist is about to go back on tour. I it know. is. It is. Jeff, thank you so much. You are the best. Thank I you. love the jacket. I already told thank you that. You, thank I you. I want one in an extra small. We'll get it. Okay. I can't wait to see the preview. I mean, we got a preview here. I can't wait to actually see it. I'm going to take my girls bring the girls I'm gonna come along with you're gonna you. see it again yes yes it's a date and if you are interested in seeing the illusionist you can check out Broadway balances America Broadway across America or you can always come to our website thebalancingact.com for all the show information tour dates and more okay we have a few more seconds can you show us one quick one? Oh, okay. oh this is just for the balancing act check it out check it out ready hop 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 oh, oh yes 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 thank you very much We're on location in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and we're gonna show you how you can get the best of everything in brand name products for your home. And joining me this morning is Jason Wall, Vice President of Marketing and Sales for Rent-A-Center. Yes. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming. I'm thrilled to be here. In fact, when I walked in, Jason, I was pleasantly surprised. And that's great to hear. In fact, our customers have grown to expect these great brand name products from us. But I think a lot of customers who have never done business with us walk in and have the same experience you are. They're not expecting to see Ashley Furniture, Whirlpool Appliances, LG, Samsung TVs, and other electronics that can fit all their different needs, whether it's their living room, their bedroom, their kids' room, all of that. All right, so he said Ashley Furniture. I actually love them, so let's check that out. Let's do it. Olga, you mentioned Ashley. Mm -hmm. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. So this is Ashley Furniture bedroom set. Oh my gosh, this feels great. Doesn't it? Yes! So we have a lot of bedroom sets from Ashley. And you can get them in queen size, king size, many options for our customers. All right, but you mentioned Ashley, and here's what I'm thinking. Like, people come in, and the first thing I think of is, you know, it's, it's, it's expensive. So do they want quality, or do they want something that's economical? Customers want both. They want both. Absolutely. So our customers, we know probably a third of Americans are credit constrained. And so with Rent-A-Center, what we do is we offer customers these great products we're talking about, but without credit. What about someone that maybe is facing some challenges? You know, they, they don't have the cash, they have credit problems. Uh, how does Rent-A-Center help out? You know, at Rent-A-Center, you don't even have to have a social security number. Oh. Yeah. So uh, we just make sure that we can verify where you live, where you work, and that's our approval system. All right. So from the bedroom, let's go to the... Living room set. Let's yeah, let's check one out. Let's do it. And this would look spectacular in my living room. It looks so comfortable, I'm gonna do this. Oh my gosh, this is great. And you have to open it too. Try the handle on the side. Oh my gosh, this got even better. Isn't that comfortable? This is fabulous. And that's what we're after. We're after providing our customers a lot of selection, a lot of configuration. Lots of colors. Lots of colors, lots of fabrics, pillow backs, sectionals, sofa love seats, all of it. All right, Recliners. So obviously rent a center, you rent here. What are the advantages to renting as opposed to buying? Uh, no credit obviously is, is a big part of it. That's but huge. the fact that they can get it today. So our customers have needs or wants and they don't want to wait for it. So we really help them to get the name brand products they want and we get it quick. And in addition to that, we don't have a lot of extra fees. So if you're shopping in a furniture store, for example, you may have to pay extra for mm. delivery, setup, and that's included here. And what about when it comes to maybe not liking it anymore or it just doesn't fit your needs? Are you stuck with it? No, not at all. Uh, that's what's great about us is that there's no long-term obligation. And you know, a really special aspect that we do is if your product's not functioning how you want it, we will fix it no charge. And what if someone like me loves this and says, okay, this is my dream couch. I want it. Can I buy it? Olga, a lot of our customers, that's really what they're after. They may start with a temporary need or they may start out with the intent to own it. But once they, you fall in love with this kind of product, if you want to keep it, that's, that's rent to own. That's rent what we do. to own. This is fabulous. This the majority a, of our customers want that. This has been a great experience. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot more to see. How about it? Okay, let's go see more. This has been a great experience. And what I like is I've just felt like it's a family helping me out. You guys really do that one-on-one. -on -one. 
Well, that's because we build a relationship with our customers. All right, so if someone out there is interested in finding a rent-a-center near where they live, what do they do? We're in nationwide, we're in Puerto Rico, and we even have stores in Mexico. Oh, wow. Yeah. And online we can go on to? Yeah, online you can search, you can you read more about what, how it works, what the company does, the products that we offer. What's the website? Renacenter.com. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've yeah. had a great time. Yeah, it was great. I'm going to look into this one. I like that. I, my husband has always wanted a recliner, and I've always said no. So maybe now I'll spoil well, him. Well, maybe we should get an order form started. Okay, that All right, sounds good. Let's do it. And if you want to get an order form started, go to our website. It's thebalancingact.com. Again, thebalancingact.com. All right, so let's recline together. Go over there. Let's do it on the count of three. I'm going to pretend you're my husband and you just got this. Three, two, one. Not only is choosing the right college a difficult decision, it's also one of the most significant investments a parent can make. Here to help us navigate through the best options for both the family and the finances is Dr. Andrew Abella, provost of the Catholic University of America, and with him is Somalie Barquette, whose son attends the school. Good morning to Good both morning. of you. Good morning. Good morning. Doctor, let me start with you. You know, choosing the right college, you know, it's a tough decision, and it's not only choosing the profession, it's, it's also choosing who you're going to become, right? Yes, yes that's, ex that's exactly right. Uh, college is important to your, your career, right? And so when, you, when you're looking at different colleges, you're obviously thinking about what is my son or daughter going to become out of that? But, but when you think about what you wish for for your son or daughter, it's not just that they have a successful career. That's important. But you want them to have a purpose-driven life. You want them to have good friends. You know, they want them to be, to be happy. The question for them is not just what am I going to do, but who am I going to become, as you said. If you're raising your children in an atmosphere of faith, as they're thinking about who am I going to become, the, the faith aspect of your life is, is, is primary, is, is critical. And Mrs. Barquette, let me bring you in. Your son is in Catholic University. How long has he been there? He's been there for one year. He'll Loving be a it? sophomore. Yes. Okay. And he when really you made that it. decision, because I'm sure you went to many colleges around the country and many universities, how important was it to include that faith with a good university as well? My husband and I was very important. So we did go to Catholic University. At first, my son didn't want to go because he thought it was for seminarians. <laughs> Because oh, yeah, Catholic University, so he was very hesitant. But we go, and uh, he does the interview. He does the walk. He heard President Garvey speak, and did the track for Poli Sci, and he fell at home. He goes, "Mom, this is home," and I was so thrilled. One of the things with Catholic University, which helps the formation, is that there are four classes that are mandatory that you take no matter what your degree is, and it's in theology and philosophy. And my son, when he found out, he was like kicking and screaming, "No, what? I have to take it." A month into the school, he says to me, Mom, I know my education is going to be better than my friends. And I go, why would you say that? He goes, because of these classes, it's helped forming me. And so that gives that, that formation that we so desire. Which is so important. Doctor, for students out there that maybe don't share the same faith, yes. uh, do they have to share that faith in the university? My answer, I guess, would be no. No, no. This, obviously, the uh, uh, university is open to all people of all faiths or none. Uh, the majority of our students, no surprise, are Catholic, but we have a substantial m a minority that are other Christians or, or Jews or Muslims and so on. And uh, we, we like to think that we, we are proposing the mm -hmm. faith but not imposing it on anyone. And so the studies of theology and philosophy and so on, th this is, will help anybody open up their minds. You'll ask questions like, what's the meaning of life? You know, who, who isn't interested in that question? Sure. You know, and that should be part of your university education. And Mrs. Barquette, besides the faith, which is important to you and your husband, what drew you to Catholic University? I saw how strong the political science department was. This is his major. And also the business department, because he was thinking about minoring. And then I saw how they have a strong support system if you are struggling in a particular subject. Awesome. You make an appointment and you're there. The community is so important, and I think Catholic University does offer that. Doctor, academics. I mean, I, I know you guys have incredible programs for students coming in. Yes, academics are very important for us because students shouldn't have to choose between a faith-based education or a serious academic one. So, so what we try to do is integrate both. So we talked about politics. Uh, you think about they, they'd be studying, they'd be reading Aristotle and Plato in the morning, and then in the afternoon they could be interning on Capitol Hill. Or if they're studying biology, for example, by sophomore year they're doing real-life cancer research. Wow. You know, so, so you, but we're, again, we're always integrating the faith and, and the, the very, very serious scholarship. If they're physics students, they could be interning at the NASA Goddard Space Station, for example. So, so very serious, very cutting-edge research and scholarship integrated in a faith-based environment. Mrs. Barquette, let me end with you. For parents who are trying to make that decision today or looking towards the future, especially me, I've got four years and I've got to start thinking about this, what would you tell me? 
I would say that find what your child is strong in, their strengths, and then find a place that you know that they're going to be happy and that is going to cultivate the wise freedom. And I think with that, we'll give you peace as well as your child and their joy going there. As my son enjoys truly Catholic University. It's like a home away from home. It is, absolutely. And get tissues, right? Yes. Because yeah. I'm going to cry. Horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll call you for you so you help me there. <laughs> we'll do. All right, thank you so much, Mrs. Barquet. Good luck to your thank son. You. And, Doctor, for our viewers out there who'd like more information on Catholic University, what's the website? The website is cua.edu. cua.edu. Cua yes. All right. And next time, if we ever have another interview with you, how about if we go on site? <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> it is a beautiful campus. Thank you so much for your time. And if you could also go to our website, and that's thebalancingact.com. Don't forget to also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. All right, Amber, so do you believe in dragons? Only if there's a hot prince behind it. Oh, I like that. How about a dragon fruit? Oh, well, that I love. You do? I do. It's delicious and good for you, too. Oh. So here's a tropical quick bites with Chef Ralph Pagano. Get ready for a taste of the tropics. I'm Chef Ralph Pagano with a quick bite. And if you've never tried dragon fruit, shame on you, but get ready to be schooled. This seasonal tropical dragon fruit is tasty and chock full of nutrients and vitamins. And we're talking antioxidants here. Vitamin C, all the B vitamins, omega-3 and 6, calcium, fiber. It goes on and on. Plus, it's low in calories and yes, it is a superfood. Now check this out. It's so good, it kind of reminds you of a kiwi when you put it in your mouth. And it's a gorgeous fruit, both on the inside and out. It's actually a type of cactus, and it comes in two varieties. Red flesh, which is sweeter than the white flesh, which is a little bit more mild. You want to look for bright, even-colored skin. You want to make sure it's not too soft. Now let me show you how to cut it. It's this simple. You ready? I'm ready. Just slice it right down the middle. All right? That looked pretty easy, no? Then you just pop it out just like this onto your cutting board. It couldn't be any easier. Now, slice it up. Boop, boop, boop. Come across with another cut like this. And they're all beautiful and the same size. Look at this fruit, it's so beautiful. You can eat it raw, it tastes so great. Now, check this out. I'm gonna show you how to make a great tropical fruit salsa with it. It's no dairy, it's vegan, it's great for you. You're gonna feel good when you eat the dragon fruit. Now, come over here to my salsa party. I've already cut up some of the white flesh that is right over here. Gonna mix it together with some of the sweeter red ones. Nice balance, right? I like a balance of power in my life. Now I'm gonna add their friend. The yellow mango comes to the table right over here. All the colors are gonna be represented in my fruit salsa. I've got jalapeno pepper and red pepper. Fresh cilantro green onion, all come to the table. I got myself a nice lime. I got my handy little lime squeezer right here. No pits. Spread a little bit of olive oil. Spread the love. You're gonna mix it up. Little crack of salt and pepper. And this is one great tropical fruit salsa. We got this dragon fruit from our backyard. South Florida-based grower J&C Tropical. They're a third-generation family-owned produce company that packs, imports, and distributes tropical fruits, roots, and vegetables worldwide. They've been around for 50 years, and that is impressive. You know, this is a seasonal fruit. When you see it in your favorite produce store, just grab it, give it a squeeze, and take it home. And to learn more about getting the taste of the tropics with dragon fruit, visit jctropicals.us or our website, thebalancingact.com. Remember, this has been a quick bite. But too slowly. I've got to try that fruit. I've really, I've never seen it, never heard of it. It's delicious, and not only that, but it's good for you. Excellent. All right, and that's our show for today. So I actually learned something on my show today. Head to our Facebook page and our website. Follow us on Twitter. We've got so much more there. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.